What's up, everybody? This is Smith with Smith TV. I am here with the man of the hour, Mr. B. Slade. Sir, how does it feel to be here tonight? Man, I feel amazing. All of my friends are here, regular friends, industry friends, old lost friends. So you're here in Beverly Hills. Turn it up. Ratchet Beverly Hills, turn up. <laughs> Sir, 11 albums in five years, not counting compilations and mixtapes. When do you get time to sleep? Um, I don't know. Actually, when everybody else is, is asleep, that's when I work best. When they're not pulling on the universe so much, you know what I mean? So music drives me. Um, I'm just now balancing playing as hard as I work. I'm just now learning how to do that. So, How would you say that you transitioned as an artist over the last five years? But when I first started, you know, the packaging of B. Slade and, and the, the new moniker B. Slade and just starting all over again from the bottom, started from the bottom, now we're here, um, I didn't know if it was going to land because a lot of people weren't going to let me transition from specifically doing gospel into mainstream, but I was like, I'll start all over and still be able to do inspirational music, so now I just have the courage to be and not try, and that's the difference. I was trying to make a statement versus just being the statement. I think that's the biggest transition for me. Speaking of trying to make a statement and transitioning, what would 2015 B. Slade say to 2010 B. Slade five years ago? Oh, slow down and hey, Culligan, man, because he was so thirsty. Oh, my God. But now I see it took that hustle to get here, but now I see the more you ignore the industry, the more they come knocking. It's really strange. The more you pursue it, the more they close doors. The more you ignore it and do your thing, when you're doing it right, they'll find you. So congratulations on being Grammy nominated again. Yes. You were nominated for a song that you wrote for Angie Fisher called IRS. I'm yes. telling you people, it's a killer. Yes. Take me to the moment when you got the news that you were nominated for a Grammy for the song you wrote and produced. Uh, Roger Patton, who works over at Hidden Beach, one of the main founders over there, called me in the morning and said, congratulations. I'm like, for what? Because, you know, everyone knows I don't wake up till like 1. I don't get going to like 2 because I work at night. I said, congratulations for what? He says, well, you just got a Grammy nomination for IRS. Angie got nominated. And it felt like five heartbeats when they first heard their song on the radio and they just start running into stuff. And it's, I'll always hold on to that. And her performance on there was like a dream come true, man. Like, my life right now. She smashed it. She smashed it. She's here tonight, actually. She's going to be performing a song off her album called The Roof. So we got Tisha Campbell here. Peanut, Bethany Strong is up in here. Who else is here? Nikki Chu is up in here. Like, Smith Worldwide, come on now. Let's get real. So I'm excited, man. It's a beautiful night. We're in Beverly Hills. And we're here to celebrate the drop of your LP that dropped today. Yes. Shade, Smoke, and Trees. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, I... When I first got to Hollywood, I found out about sex, drugs, and sushi. So I named that tour Sex, Drugs, and Sushi. That was in 2012. As I moved on, I've seen shade. <laughs> um, I smoke. I've seen smoke. I'm smoking them literally, like all the negativity, all the naysayers. That's, it's a double entendre. And then trees, because it's just like, California is just like palm trees down and other trees, but it's the perfect herbal refreshment. <laughs> Speaking of shade, how do you choose to deal with shade? Are you, do you address it head on usually? Do you like run away from conflict? How do you deal with shade? I normally, when, when I see something going down funny, I have a song called Get Low on the Shade Smoking Trees album. When I see stuff going wrong or funny and there's a weird vibration going on, I get low. I just disappear. And you know, like, I'll vanish. People be like, where is he at? Because I like to distance myself from negativity. Not that negativity doesn't serve a purpose because it helps your car battery run. You need that negativity and that positivity to make your destiny mobilize. So I just don't want to be around it and drink it and digest it and be it. It's not necessary. Too much energy. Now, I know a lot of people in the industry, they they laud you as one of the like great singers of our time. Is there a pressure with that, knowing that like you're the voice that so many are inspired or aspire to? Is there any type of pressure with that for you? Um, if there is any pressure, it's just to make sure that I keep delivering my absolute best. And knowing that I don't have to do things in my higher register all the time. I don't have to yell. If I do, if I'm if I'm squalling you guys, it's because I feel that at that moment. It's not because I feel like I'm expected to, because that's a um, that's a pressure that a lot of gospel singers have. You know, they have to do it because people are expecting them to blow the roof off every time. And the voice is not built to do that night after night after night. I can, but I don't need to. 
So the pressure is, how do I deliver a new character, a new vibe, a new swag, a new sound each time to keep it fresh? And sometimes that means dialing back. So, Speaking of dialing it back, yeah. we know that you're always busy. What does B Slay do to just chill out and relax? Well, Netflix as of late and Six Flags. I have a season pass to Six Flags. I shouldn't have went to Six Flags the night that I, a day before I had a show. So I blew my throat out. But thanks be unto God, I put a little remedies on there. I shut up. So I got a little bit of it back. I'm about 78% tonight, so we'll see. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us Thank here at Smith TV, see. man. We are so excited. I'm this guy. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you so much. Yeah. Congratulations on yet another album. I'm sure it's going to be a smash, man. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Shay, Shay Smoking Trees, hashtag, all right? Be Slate Now on Twitter. Be Slate Now, Instagram. Represent.